here and today I'm going to be bringing you another band uh, shown to me, brought to my attention by Vendel at Vendel's Metal and Stuff. I'm going to be talking about Sweden's Put Me Out and their three singles from 2023. First one is Run From The Dead. Uh, this one contains this pure, raw, guttural intensity from every instrument and vocals. I love the angry attitude from Matthias Bolander on vocals. Uh, he has this just disgust and intensity, uh, but I like the, the, the harsh vocals that he has are audible. You know, I've said that in the past that sometimes, you know, that's really important. The harsh vocals, sometimes I know people are like, oh, you can't hear anything, but he really makes them audible. Yeah, I can really feel a lot of the words and he really comes through. And I really like that. I also like the angry attitude from the ripping guitars as well. But one thing that really stood out that I noticed was the varying tempos and energy, which I thought were really good because every single time it changed, it brought me back into the song and you know, really put me on notice to really absorb a lot of the little nuances and those tempos and energies that I thought you know that were used uh, throughout though sometimes you know subtle I felt like they gave run from the dead a quick shot in the arm and like I said is it brought you back into the song you know it grabs your attention a little bit more if you're not paying attention or something like that but that's why I kind of like it's those little subtleties like that and there's also one you know, from this brief guitar melody it's just something like that you know in in the songs that sort of uh, get our attention and I thought like those little things really help you know grab a listener I like the, the little bit of uh, spice and flavor that we get tucked in the run from the dead all all this really brings me back to the 80s death metal and thrash metal this song is just raw direct and hard hitting but like i said it has these little split little bits of spice and flair tucked in there into each song to sort of add you know a little bit of uh flavor and or you know nuances and things to really grab the listener it's not just like kind of you know, uh, a templated song, you know, here's your drums, here's your guitar riffs, and then we go on from there. There's these little things, little nuances to grab the listeners. And that's why I really like from what Put Me Out does on Run From The Dead. Actually, all three songs, uh, and like I said, I was just talking about subtle nuances. We get that in the next one here, Rotten Lullaby. The shift in mood I felt was a nuance itself because it separated itself from the other two tracks. It, I felt it was darker, meaner with this hint of disgust, which really uh, goes to, I think, Matthias's vocals really amplifying, really elevating, you know, the, the energy within the song and, and those riffs. Uh, the tempo and the musical ferocity shift really amps up as well. I uh, really I thought that amped up the, the anger and the attitude, you know, from uh, Run From The Dead a whole, to a whole nother level and brought some pain into this song in Rotten Lullaby. The next, uh, the third of the three singles is Church of Ladislaus. This one I thought was really cool because of just the amount of depth that went into this song. And, and these aren't longer songs, right? So this one is just, uh, I think, four minutes plus. But the amount of depth in it I thought was really good. Uh, again, it changes direction a bit, but keeps to that hard-hitting, raw, heavy tone that we've heard from the first two tracks. There are certainly some heavier thick ass riffs I mean really mean uh, you could really feel the guitars the bass the drums just all kind of coming together heavy riffs you know uh, heavy moments within this song I like that uh, put me out what they did for the last 90 seconds they kind of really kind of changed dimensions in this song and created this whole new dimension for it and, and kind of brought a whole new atmosphere into this song and Hell, you know, and, and separated it from the other three. And I felt like the guitar work really got to shine and erupt in these last sort of 90 seconds of Church of Ladislaus. But one thing I thought as I'm uh, dissect, dis dissecting these three songs, one thing that I picked up on is, you know, for the most part, a lot of the death metal I've heard and even some thrash metal, excluding like, you know, Megadeth and Anthrax and Metallica and stuff like that, is I found like, uh, a lot of those bands can kind of, like I said, is have a template. They just kind of go and, you know, it, a lot of songs blend together, a lot of albums blend together. But for three songs that they did, they all had things within the songs that stood out. Even though they had parts that kind of went together, you know, the drums, harsh vocals, you know, heavy riffs and stuff. But they all had something in the song that stood out on its own. And they changed things up here and there. You know, a little diversity. Like I said, is Rotten Lullaby has its own identity with its sort of pacing. Uh, Church of Ladislaus has this 90 seconds uh, ending and a bit of different change of direction. I just thought for three songs, there's a lot of diversity here. I thought that was pretty unique. So I'm interested to hear what, uh, what else Put Me Out 
does. I believe they've just released some more songs, so that should be interesting. All the links, of course, will be in the description below. So I'll uh, put all that stuff down there, as well as the, the new songs that I believe they just put out on Bandcamp so, and, and probably Spotify. So I'll leave all that stuff in the description for you guys to check out. So feel free, check out Put Me Out. And um, my other channels will be linked down below as well. And check out Vendel's Metal and stuff. He's got all kinds of, you know, an array of metal on there for you guys to check out. So until next time, folks, how about some heavy listening?